This video poster presents a book about Australasian tectites. It contains 42 chapters, as well as a dictionary and a reference list. After watching each video poster, you can download relevant chapters for detailed readings, using the link in the description below. This poster is about Muang Nong tectite top and bottom sides, and their horizontal web-like vents. There are two methods to distinguish between up and down sides of Muang Nong tectites. The first method is the surface method. Looking at both sides, parallel to the layering, one will often look smooth, the downside, and the other looks cracked or with puzzle crust pieces, the upside. The other method is the slope method. It uses the precursor sediment rocks graded layering. Up and down sides can sometimes be found by looking at the slope of the layers. Larger grains, like quartz, settle first in sand and silt sediments, and smaller clay mineral grains settle last. This gives different slopes of sediment layers, visible when eroded by wind or by chemicals. More resistant parts, with quartz, erode more slowly than the clay minerals, leaving a steeper slope on the downside than the upside. For Muang Nong tectites with flattening deformation, the puzzle crust pieces are on the top side. Like the bread crust example the downside is smooth. Another Muang Nong tectite, where the image with bread crust, to the left, likely is the upside, and the downside is shown on the right image. Measuring the pixel light intensity, can show different slopes on the front and back sides of the graph tops. The black line is a 5 values moving average. Slopes calculated based on these pixel intensity values moving averages, the black line, show that the right side slope of 0.5972 is steeper than the left side slope of 0.4021, indicating up is on the left side. The white lines show slope equals 1. This is the same result as from the surface method. However, there are large variations, as R squared is low, so this method may not always be usable. Vents are tunnels, where gases escape the Muang Nong tectites, during heating. Horizontal vents were created if the precursor rock was very fine-grained, and had no parting lineation. Gases then escape between layers, in a web-like structure of tunnels, ending at all the tectite sides. This is in stark contrast to parting lineation sediments, where degassing followed the lineation, and therefore exited only at the two ends of the tectite. Close-up images of web-formed vents, exiting between the fine-grained layers in the Muang Nong tectite. Most vent openings are circular, while some have merged at the edge to become mouth-shaped. Many Muang Nong tectites have not been cleaned by collectors, for very hard sediments. Sediments as hard as clay brick stones. Removing such sediments to reveal vent outlets underneath, some slightly oval formed, probably from tectite flattening. The hot gases may have burned the clay, imparting the hardness and strength. This takes place around 1000 to 1200 degrees Celsius in clay. These close-up images show web-shaped vent tunnels. The base of the tunnels show crescent-shaped ridges from gas passage. The back side of the crescent ridges show the flow direction. Download chapter 19 and 20 from the link below to read more about these topics.